very good at road racing. They'll both be in action next weekend. Another round of MNZ New Zealand Superbike Road Race Championship. Hampton Downs, we're away. As a one to five, take a blast. Who's got it? Called the whole shot. Got the last one with Ollie. Well, who are we going to see this time? Out the corner, Yamaha's away. Yes, and going for it. How fast? Cody Griffiths, what a start, he's got the whole shot and he's gone, Ollie Coleman, another good start from him as well, we've got uh, the play for and Hamish Harwood uh, with a bit of work to do, uh, buried uh, in the middle of the pack, so uh, this is going to be exciting, the man who piled on a bit of pressure to Hamish Harwood in race number one, he's been desperate for a good start, all championship, and this is exactly what he needed, so let's get in behind Frank Stevens' uh, motorcycle Yamaha of Cody Griffiths, he is fine and he'll fly up the Pirelli step up for the first time, he's got a 10 point length advantage, it's all on here, start from Michael Denise, he's been uh, desperate to get one all summer and uh, he's now in third place with uh, Hamish Howard uh, charging in around him as well so Hamish Howard now into third place well, got it, uh, all unfolding nicely, MX125 is supporting the third and final race of the day uh, so we're going to have some uh, overall glory uh, double podiums coming up here the podium for the race, the podium for the overall and uh, let's get uh, excited about uh, MX125 racing. They're absolutely breathtaking at the front. Cody Griffiths, what a start. He's uh, out there and he is gone. Look at him, he's got the decent advantage uh, back. The Hamish Harwood's managed to get himself into second place. So uh, if uh, Cody's going to do this, it's going to be uh, all on. Let's uh, get excited about this one. 18 minutes plus a lap. And uh, how uh, what's going through the mind of Cody Griffiths now? He must be thinking this is on. Yeah, I didn't quite get to the whole shot corner that time because it was lovely to see uh, uh, Billy and uh, Zach on that occasion. So I had that quick interview with them. I didn't quite get down there. But halfway down there, I could just see that it was Yamaha poking his nose through. I thought, well, maybe who's it going to be? And then uh, Cody, did he ever come out of that strong? That was absolutely incredible. And this is what we like about the re-engineering of this track in this big wide open corner. This corner here by the whole shot would be at least four metres wider than it used to be. And it's made such a difference because it's not just the outside, it's the inside line to do as well and really are to open it up around there and that we don't get anywhere near the collision points like we used to as well Brad you recall that, uh, that these uh, a whole shot starts were sort of almost a 50 50 here but the uh, X of the corner is much better which has made it uh, far better so we're finding some better riding here today let's go with them here one two fives up now all right uh, lap one in the books Katie Griffiths uh, Hamish Harwood nothing in it now there's less than a second so uh, it's going to be on from the front we've got uh, it all uh, unfolding very very nicely in MX125 racing so we here And then in third place, uh, Mark Hooks on another great start. Woods Harvey's in third place. Logan and Ease have got a good start. And now Smith is sacked with a head. Ruben Smith is now in the CML cage here. So he's there. What a great start from Will Yeoman. He's up inside the top 10. All on Ashton White's a good start. Uh, Lee Gorman and Connor Heathy. That'll be your top 12. We can see as they uh, climb it down and around the pitboard area. That is absolutely rugged through there on a 1 2 5. The hole is bigger than a lot of these. Uh, Front wheels are going in, so uh, absolutely on here. Cody Griffiths and uh, Hamish Harwood, they have uh, separated themselves from the rest of the pack all day, and now they've uh, done the same thing in race number three, and Hamish has uh, done a little bit of pressure. This is going to be exciting uh, as we see it unfold. Keen to watch, keen to watch Cody Griffiths, the advantage out there with Hamish trying to hunt him down, hunt him down. There's no way that Hamish wants to see that young gun coming through, but uh, you heard it last time. See, that's what gave him the confidence boost. You heard it in his voice. You saw it for him at the podium. He knew he could do it. He could start to feel he could do it. He all of a sudden thought, hey, I can get close to this man. It gives him confidence. You know, I, we won't ever forget the era of the early 90s when Shane King totally dominated New Zealand motocross. And every time anybody got closer, it made Shane step up his mark, and Shane stepped up the mark every time. And this is no different now. When you've got people like Hamish who are dominating in the class and the others think oh I can do it can I do it no I can't it was like we were insulted by the fact that we had a 40 year old and uh, Daryl King who was winning MX2 year after year uh, there a few years ago and of course uh, all of a sudden it was somebody's got to step up to beat this man and that's what we've got now we've got a dominant character in Hamish he is absolutely incredible and you just get a rider I go you give him a sniff don't you you've given a chance that's what Cody Griffiths saw I can do this that's the self-belief and what about Wills Harvey his first First ever uh, year of uh, senior racing, second only podium he gets, and he says, I'm disappointed. He's disappointed in being in third place. I think it's a glory. I'd be absolutely ecstatic. I'd be jumping to the mood. But no, it's not a good enough stand for these guys. So they really have got to push the advantage. So love those stories. Cody doing it. But Hamish is there. Hamish is there. He's done his 2.8. He has moved in front. So Hamish Howard has got the advantage. Cody Gill is now back to second on the 3 2 1 bike. But it still takes nothing away from the story that you've got to give these guys the. Uh, 
hope in the incentive that they can beat those kings, those heroes, those people that seem like God and the unforbidden can happen. You can beat the champions. Hamish Harwood, Cody Griffiths and Connor Hart now in third place. Wills Harvey tracking along with Marcus Hildesheim running a hot rocking fifth place in this very cool SDM mechanical MX125. Cody Griffiths, though, uh, still hanging on to his uh, second place record. He's had a couple of trips uh, up there today already, and uh, this will be awesome for his championship aspirations. No Cole Davies here. We wish him all the best in the AMA Futures, uh, which is on uh, in a moment's time uh, with uh, uh, him in America. It leaves uh, second place wide open in this championship, and Cody Griffiths has grabbed it by the scruff of the neck here at Rotorua Motocross Park. We'll be at his home track for rounds three and four uh, in about uh, a month's time. So look out for that. Connor Hart, what a start for him. He's still there. Uh, Wills Harvey in fourth. Marcus Hildesheim, Ruben Smith, Cullen Patterson. Uh, best start from him. Uh, Will Yeoman in eighth. We look to uh, Logan Denise, Ashton White, Luke Maisie and Ben Malloy uh, right down to about uh, 12th place. So uh, aiming a strong field of MX125s. Watch to us by SDM Mechanical and Engineering. And take nothing away from multiple time 125cc champion the Hamish Harwood. Flawless so far. Five wins, five starts. And if he can hang on to this one here, it will be uh, a flawless performance so far with uh, two rounds of this championship done and dusted. And he will be certainly a very, very tough man to beat in the championship if he comes away with that maximum 75 points in round one and number two. So, MX125, it's uh, something special to watch Hamish Howard in action. And also uh, great to see uh, the youth of the future of uh, the sport is in very good hands when you've got the talent uh, coming through like it is. Yeah, great to watch him. You only got to look at uh, Wills Harvey and uh, uh, that man uh, Cody Griffiths as well, and they uh, two of the top four. And uh, those are virtually uh, schoolboys, although in saying that officially, of course, uh, Cody has uh, left school working on the family farm, but uh, still you've called him a schoolboy age and uh, criteria, still a young man at heart, uh, destined to uh, follow in the family footsteps of uh, uh, their uh, beautiful part of uh, paradise and uh, driving our uh, dairy herds in New Zealand, one of our uh, key industries in this great country, and where we find a lot of motor people are based out of the agricultural sector. And uh, great to see him uh, following in the family footsteps and uh, working hard for the family good. All right, so 153, Hamish Howard, 321, and Cody Griffiths along with the 122 uh, uh, stepping it up there big time now for uh, Wills Harvey on the Murray Thorne Yamaha. Jack Construction uh, just won along with uh, Dunlop, Yamalu, JCR, Yamaha, Blue Crew, MTF Nelson along with H&H &H Digger Hire all coming together to support the uh, package out there. Then we can look out for the number 40 and Connor Hart out of Tauron on Envy Motorcycles. Motor X, uh, FXR, Mum and Dad supported uh, Husqvarna TC125 behind uh, Connor. We go to the 21 next up of Harrison, uh, sorry, Marcus Hildesheim, the Hustle Surfer Motor Hawks Bay uh, man. As we look out to the 12 of Ruben Smith, had a bit, a bit of bad luck today. He'll be looking to try and get his points back on track along with the 96 of Will Yeoman out of uh, Taupo on that uh, PWR racing Yamaha Moto uh, Yamaha Lube uh, supported uh, a Blue Crew motorbike. Now this is a guy that wants a huge amount of credit folks. This guy is uh, in the elite top three in New Zealand cross country racing. Now cross countries of course are effectively uh, an overall uh, uh, event. Uh, so it's a bit different to an enduro but it's very fast to go across country. Now when you put Will Yeoman in a motocross like this, he's up against the boys that know how to jump and how to go around corners so fast. But when you're a cross country rider, you've got to read the terrain. You're looking for those ruts, you're trying to keep out of there, you're looking to go fast on some country. In fact, you go off to go blind. You go, you go on that opening lap you've never seen it before. Some of those laps, you know, 10, 15, 20 kilometres long, you're uh, finding territory out there. And this guy can go fast. So Nick just seemed to do some motor, and he had a great year as being part of our junior team to go to the. Uh, uh, international six-day enduro in France last year. So uh, one of those that I'm sure has got a lot more to offer in the sport, but good from a performance point of view, from a racing point of view, that he comes and does the New Zealand Senior Motocross Nationals. Our SDM MX125 uh, package at the moment with our uh, class, and as Scott has been outlining, at the end of this one, we'll do our podium for the overall today. And uh, who's gonna make it? Well, it's still wide open for these guys as they uh, get set to fight it out. But Hamish had to do the hard work to get past uh, Cody earlier on. But remembering, Cody has got to have the self-belief because he has the self-belief. He proved it last time that he could fight back. Can he do it? We're about to find out. Yeah, well, uh, over half of the 
just one now, so only eight minutes to go. It's uh, still Harwood. Uh, then we go to Cody Griffiths, then Wills Harvey. So uh, unchanged from race one's podium. And uh, this is going to be something special for the championship. We've got round three and four, the double header. Look out for it. It's going to be exciting. And we can't wait to uh, beat that big of a kid right across park. That's going to be spectacular. Five races over two days. It's a must-see motocross. And if round two's the that you go by, uh, start getting your stuff together now. Get yourself to toe four four, rounds three and four. If you need an excuse to go there, it's now a double header uh, for two days of motocross uh, right in the same location. It's going to be special. But we can't wait for it. Uh, and this man here, Hamish Harwood, he can't wait for it either because he is uh, almost uh, one hand on the championship but sort of stuck here. He's had five race wins from five starts. He's on his way to number six here and only really a disaster here you can think uh, with a decent advantage back to Cody in second no Cole Davies here who've got uh, three second place finishes at round number one so it's really been a dominant display here from Hamish Harwood as he ticks off another lap so seven minutes to go in this one here plenty of time Hamish will be absolutely shattered that he's uh, at MX1 uh, double passing as well so uh, it's certainly going to be taking its toll to Cody's in there second place got a decent advantage back to Wills Harvey on the marathon with Yamaha so uh, this is a brilliant show from Wills Harvey. What a day at the office he's having. If he can finish there, that'll go a long way towards his uh, third overall. But then look out for Connor Hart and uh, uh, Marcus Hildesheim. Great little battle they are in at the moment. And Marcus has uh, got himself up into uh, fourth place. Uh, Connor back into fifth. We've got Ruben Smith there. Uh, uh, Logan Denise and Will Yeoman and Luke Mays in there. So there's uh, 1.2 seconds separating fifth, sixth, seventh and eighth place. Four of them going out in here in MX125. With a massive uh, six minutes still to go. Uh, we'll look out for Will uh, uh, and uh, Mays there and there with uh, Ben Boy. We've got uh, a good performance from Cam Cullen Patterson. Uh, 12 place, got a Heafy Ash and White and Ollie Corbin. Uh, and then is uh, going all the way down to 15th place. So, uh, so good day. the good good day. We've got Troy Bullock there in uh, 16th, Cole Workman in 17th, and uh, rounding out our 18 runners. The uh, 776 of Sean McEwen. So uh, it's quality field, it's 125, it's spectacular, and it's on here at the moment. This is the third and final round of racing for the day, so we're about to start rounding some overall champions for round two here. And uh, the Rotary Motorcycle Club have really turned it on. This has been absolutely spectacular. So uh, five and a half minutes to go, and it's uh, all on MX125. All right, the SDM Mechanical, uh, at home of uh, light and heavy machinery, uh, uh, diesel work, specialising in trucks, buses, camper vans, diggers and bobcats. There's so much goes on with SDM Mechanical Engineering. Thank you, guys. We're really proud of your support. Thank you very, very much on behalf of our sport. We love good sponsors, and we hope that we give them the mileage that they get the uh, credits and uh, deserve the merits about what they're doing to dip into their pocket to help our cool sport out today. Back to our sport with the SDM Mechanical 125 MX, Hamish Howard, uh, Cody Cooper, along with Wills Harvey, Marcus Hildesheim, along with Connor Hart, go to Reuben uh, Smith in there as well. We've got uh, actually 18 riders in our field. I think we started the day with 21, if I wasn't mistaken, but apologies if I'm wrong about that, doesn't matter. So uh, there you have for that, 18 at the end of the day, pretty cool. As we check out uh, uh, Logan Denise back in there, along with Will Yeoman, with uh, Luke Maisie and Ben Valois have made up our top 10. So people like Sam Bowers, a quality 125 rider in his own right, but unfortunately uh, missing out on it today. In fact, in our program today, folks, uh, your second rider listed is number 17, Cole Davies. And the good news, and I say the good news, is Cole couldn't make it today because another doorway opened for him to do another opportunity for Futures Racing in the uh, uh, AMA uh, SX uh, series. So uh, all the best to uh, Cole. We're really in behind him. And when he can't make it, he'll have many, many more New Zealand championships. But there's only one door that opens for Futures to get our riders on the big league. And when we can have another a Kiwi in our uh, uh, world's best uh, Supercross series, the AMA, it will be something special. We've already got uh, Josiah Natsuki. We've already, of course, uh, uh, got our... Uh, Man, and sorry, no, that's embarrassing, Neil, because you just, uh, I was on the story, and uh, then you forget the name just at the uh, crucial time, and then we have our, our other rider that's there at the moment, so we really are so lucky to have that uh, kind of calibre with us, and we really wish Cole all the best, I hope the doors can open for him, had a bit of a hiccup yesterday, but he uh, had a reasonable race uh, uh, today, our time as well, so wishing him all the best over there in Texas at the moment for uh, Cole Davies. So there you go. Now, uh, AMA Supercross chances have been enlivened with it. All right, so Hamish, Cody, Wills, Ruben and Marcus are on there at the moment. It's at 4.8 seconds, a buffer for that uh, first to second place. So uh, keen to watch out. 
the uh, 153 is number of course he's not number one in his class so uses our 153 he's got the number one on the 450 bike because of course that's the title that he's uh, already won so he goes back to his very humble number 153 i remember him back on his number 800 800 used to be his number let's go way back way back way back folks to when he uh, was a uh, a little tacker on uh, uh, 85 cc bikes on the little murray thorn suzuki is number 800 won't ever forget that and man the the, the the path that he has carved the way he has come through our sport is one of the most exceptional stories he was not a new zealand championship winning 85 cc rider that's the difference he became a champion through hard work and graft and that he has made such an exceptional uh, path for others to follow. Why? Because if you can believe in Hamish Harwood, you can believe in yourself because uh, that's all he did was believe in himself for all those years. And he wasn't number one. He wasn't second, he wasn't third. I don't think that I ever see him win a podium at the national level, I can't recall, but he certainly was never number one anyway. And he's made a path for himself by carving uh, his fortunes on the tracks of New Zealand and Australia with just some pure hard guts motocross. So uh, well done Hamish, we salute you and honour you and uh, wish you all the very best. And that's why he's got that nonchalant number 153. What does it mean? It just means it's his number and he knows it, loves it and respects it. So uh, there you go. And our update at the moment for our 125 class. And the clock is ticking. We have one minute and 50 seconds out there before the uh, a white flag comes out. What that means is that if a rider goes past and there's still the lead rider and there's still 20 seconds on the clock, the flag does not go out. It has to expire. We have to have done that time. So effectively, it is the time plus and then the white flag to go out the next time the lead rider comes through. Sometimes it's at you know 59. You're thinking, oh, can we can we go? No, you have got to stay. So we'll get another whole lap in. Uh, finish lines it up here at the moment uh, shout out as well of course to MXT and uh, to Nicole uh, fresh from her uh, uh, exploits to Invercargill and the sensational Burt Munro we first uh, had for the first time ever we had MXT transponded the timing for the uh, famous uh, a bluff hill climb something in point to point racing that we've not seen in the past in digital timing in New Zealand so to have that of the calibre that we did was uh, brilliant to watch of course the difference with point to point is the start line is in a vastly different place to the finish line so here we go, here we go, and uh, uh, coming on uh, back at the moment as we're uh, keen to look out. 41, unfortunately, another withdrawal from the motor as we look set to come round here to our uh, Rothbury Insurance Brokers uh, feature finish line and uh, looking out for them as they uh, jump up and over. And another cool lap undertaken. One, two, where's the mutton? Where's the margin? Where are they racing at the moment? That is Hamish, that is Cody. Three seconds, three seconds, it was four and a half, Brad. He's coming, he's coming, he can do it. The time about to expire too, so there's uh, two more laps to go uh, at the moment. So time will expire on this one around. The white flag will be ready for the next time around. Can Cody find something special? Uh, Hamish has just had a 20 minute MX1 photo. This is uh, right in the heart of an 18 minute MX125. He'll be absolutely shattered. We'll catch up with him on the podium, I'm sure. But uh, will he be on the top step? Will he be on the second step? Let's find out. Uh, this is an awesome race because one, two, uh, they're out there in front. We've got Wills Harvey in a quality third place, but then in behind. A fierce battle with uh, four riders going at it for fourth, fifth, and sixth. Logan Denise has got himself in a fourth place. Ruben Smith's now down into fifth. Luke Maisie and Marcus Hildesheim is only a couple of seconds separating fourth uh, right through to eighth. And then uh, we're all excited here to go. So uh, absolutely brilliant. MX125 in the business end of it. It's the third and final race for the day. So we've got some overall glory and some awards to give out on the podium. And will it be uh, Hamish Howard, Cody Griffiths, Wilkes Harveys? Will they hang on? If they finish in this order, they'll be one, two, and three uh, in the overall. So uh, fingers crossed we can have this uh, glorious podium that we've been looking for here. And we go to around three and four at the MQ and Motocross Park. Will we have a uh, twist in the tail? We're not sure yet. We're going to have a hang on. A lap and a half to go. And can Hamish Howard do it? He's got uh, Cody Griffiths hot on his heels. We've got a decent buffer back to Wilkes Harvey. So you'd have to think one of these front two is going to do it. But who's it going to be? countdown Scotty's just working out the points because the next podium we do rather than being a podium just from that race the next podium we do is the one for the overall for this round round number two of our uh, Aon Fox Pirelli New Zealand uh, Senior Motocross Nationals so uh, that will give us an idea of certainly a Hamish Harwood performance up there and in a close call because there's uh, Cody up there there's Wills up there there is uh, I uh, should say uh, uh, 
We're just going to have a look. Uh, Will yes, and Wills, so we've uh, mentioned we've got uh, we've got five riders. Oh, Logan, Logan Denise up there as well, and also to Marcus, Marcus Hildeshine will be one of consideration as well. So you never say never in this uh, game as we look out. There's the white flag. There's the white flag. So the symbol we're on our last lap at the moment. Anything still to go as we uh, look to. Uh, uh, buck the uh, trend and just see who can uh, get the advantage and try and come through. We're about to find out, so uh, we're all on bike battles, reign supreme at the moment as we uh, go for the front running glory and uh, keen to watch at the moment. They've round through the uh, uh, chicane at the moment. That's the, uh, the sort of the side of the circuit, you might like to call it. Used to be the build up towards the finish line. And it is a wicked bit of a dog leg that goes out. It goes up into a small little belly before they then do the big step up jump to come on top of the hills. There are two big hill sections here used of this, uh, Jane. The uh, topography, of course, there's many tracks around the world. Uh, they'd be struggling to get half the height that we've got here. But in this Rotorua area, we've got so many beautiful rolling hills that all of this is a sort of like there's a, an apex of a hill and then the big ridge in the background. So it's sort of like an L shape. So we use this hill and go up and over it and then go in and around it and then go right around the edge of it and curl back around again. Spectacular to say the least and that's why you're seeing in some of these awesome CTAS pictorial shots such a great crowd that's gone up to the top of the hill today it is worth the walk to go to the top of the Brent John Deere hill and just see what happens out there at the moment so we're keen to watch Oh, have a look at it. It's really close now. Uh, Cody Griffiths piling on the pressure with half a lap to go on this one here. We've got Wills Harvey still in third. But uh, Logan Denny's now up into fourth place. I think that might shake up the podium. We might see Logan overall in third. But uh, right now, let's focus on uh, the job at hand. We've got half a lap to go. Well, Hamish Harwood and Cody Griffiths, they have just done a great day at the office today. And uh, this is going to feel pretty good. There's uh, a few corners going there. A clean track ahead of them. It's all going down to these two. What's it going to be in store here? There's going to be no fingernails left on the uh, stadium here. Here for the stands here. Absolutely brilliant. Our uh, STM uh, mechanical and engineering 125. There's a couple of corners to go, and can Cody find a way through? He's gone around the outside. Hamish on the inside. I think Hamish has probably just about done enough. He's going to go one more corner. It's going to be the 153. Has he done enough? We're going to see him go over the finish line. He has done it. That's three for three today. The maximum points and takes a further extension of the lead in the championship. Cody's chased hard. He'll love that. And uh, he will certainly come alive. And, uh, a couple of weeks' time, we're around three and four at his home track, beloved Digger McEwen Motocross Park. We're going to see the best from Cody Griffiths uh, there for sure. And uh, three second placings, that is uh, definitely enough for two overall today. Well done. So let's have a look at this next podium because I think uh, we've got Wills Harvey. He'll come through in third with that uh, uh, shocker result in race number two. And Logan Denise is there in four, so I think that could be Logan Denise is going to grab third overall here by about one point. We'll let the computer do the better job than I can do, but uh, Wills Harvey's going to come home. He'll grab another podium for race number three. And I believe that two fourths and a third for Logan Denise should get him on the podium overall. So let's uh, uh, go and get excited about that one there. Ruben Smith, uh, a good uh, end to uh, an up and down day at the office for him on the sand hill KTM. So he'll come home in a quality fifth place there. And then look out to, and behind him, we've got a hard charging Luke Maisie who saved his best uh, performance for this uh, final race of the day. So that's race three of the books. That's your uh, final race for MX125. Gone a half will come home in seven. And then go back to uh, Mark Silksheim on the Hustle Surf and Moto Gas Gas. And then we'll round out to about eighth place. So uh, we've got uh, our motocross commissioner, uh, Lindsay's going to do some handshaking. It's going to be an absolute uh, awesome podium to have a look for. So we'll cross the Neil, who will have the podium for the day and the podium for the race. Uh, it's going to be this one here, race three, Hamish Harwood, Cody Griffiths and Wills Harvey. And then uh, we'll let the computer work out to our overall podium for the day. Over to you, Neil. We'll do a double podium here, first of all, for our uh, race result today. Uh, here he is, our uh, just one uh, Team Murray Thorne Motorcycles man. Will, uh, nice to see you back again on the podium. How have you survived the three races? Yeah, obviously pretty happy with my first race. Started off good, and then second race, bad start. Got back up into third, and then, um, yeah, had a mischief second to last lap. Just tucked the front. Real bummer. But, um, yeah, this race, again, pretty average start, but just kept digging, and... Last lap had a bit of a scare, lapper in front of me, just pulled out my Enduro, <laughs> straight over his bike, sorry mate, but yeah. 
Yeah, I know you'd be sorry about that one. Cool to see. All right, so second place, Tuba, Cody Griffiths. So uh, well done, uh, Cody. Here we go. The two Yamaha boys up there still got the smile on their face, mate. How was that one? You had a chance. Well done. Yeah, it was pretty good after getting that whole shot, just boosting my confidence a bit more. Fortunately, Hamish passed me, and then I eventually started catching him. When I saw him closing in, I was like, oh, we'll try, 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 but we just ran out of time, unfortunately. Yeah, well done. Great result. And to our uh, winner of the moto, let's hear it, Hamish Harwood. Where's the fans? Here, here. That's better. That's better. Well, Hamish, uh, Cody got the jump from the early part of the race, so these young guys are starting to put the pressure on. Isn't that what we want? Yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's good. It's, uh, it's good to see. And, um, <coughs> yeah, same thing. Uh, sort of made a pass once I... I uh, got through a bit of traffic and got into the lead and then pulled a bit of a gap and then towards the end, uh, yeah, Cody caught me back up and then I could sort of hear where he was and he was he was right there. Um, yeah, so it's good to see, but I just sort of managed that race and uh, took another win. Well done. All right, let's do the podium overall. Thank you very much, uh, Hamish. And uh, just looking at those uh, Scotty uh, points uh, at the moment. And uh, to, I know that was super close, our third place. Oh, uh, third place overall, Logan Denise. So well done, uh, Logan. All right, uh, and second, Cody Griffiths. Wow, that was super close in the end, so uh, Will's just uh, must have been only a point or so in it. And your uh, winner, Hamish Harwood. Well done, thank you to uh, Lindsay doing the uh, presentation here today. So but well done. We'll let those get the uh, camera shot in there first. We'll get that on our uh, broadcast for uh, CTS today. And there's our uh, first podium of the day with our uh, 125 class. I'll catch up with uh, Logan as he's missed out on that podium. Consistency pays off, Logan. Yeah, it was uh, average data. <laughs> yeah, I didn't get on the podium until the three races, but I was still fourth in those. So it was good because I was in points for it. So. Yeah. Well done. All right, there's your podium. Come on, another round of applause, race fans. Nice to see. So, uh, well done. Yes, he was really a consistent man. So there we go. Our uh, MX125 podium. Thank you.